Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, I believe the 17th, and as you can hear from the background, I am making tea. I actually wanted to show you guys that I, over the weekend, finished the Fortnum & Mason's breakfast blend, and I've actually moved on to the Countess Grey, which is, I think my first time trying it, it is delicious. It is a twist traditional bergamot infused blend uh, well twisted orange pico teas blended with it so it's got marigold petals in it very smooth very um, if you like a slight citrus note in your black tea I would recommend that one it's a very light tea so for those who don't quite like the strong flavor of Earl Grey which I know is more of an acquired taste for uh, out of all the black teas uh, the Countess Grey is a lot milder, so I definitely recommend that one because I've been drinking that um, all weekend and yesterday for work because I always bring a cup with me from home uh, for the commute out. And so I'm making that right now. Uh, somebody commented on one of my recent videos, How I Condition My Midori. I tried replying back to that comment, uh, but I can't. I, I believe it's an account settings things so I tried several times to reply back on that um, so if you do want a reply back please check your permission so I can do so because otherwise I'm not really I'm not trying to ignore you I really am not because I do try to get to comments if you do because I don't get that many so it's not like it's I spend like five days just going over comments or something like that so it might take me a couple days because I do work a full-time job and you know with me running errands and like it's a 45 minute commute each way uh, it does you know just sometimes I just don't get to my computer but um, you know check that out if you do want to reply back otherwise I'll try to reply back uh, in one of these like videos or something but I don't really condition my Midori I am one of those people that I do like the scratches I, I like the aged look um, maybe one of these days I'll do a passport Midori video because that's actually my planner and that one has a beautiful leather where it scratches very nicely very naturally and this one's too smooth uh, in my mind I actually don't want it to be buttery and soft or anything I want it to be scratched up and I want it to be aged and for some reason it's just not doing it I mean you can see some nicks and things but it's not to my liking as much as I'd like it to be uh, more like my Midori passport size. I think one of the reasons why it stays so smooth is because I do put a lot of hand cream on. I'm a hand cream fiend. I always have to have hand cream on. And I use a lot of shea butters and oils and things like that on my hands. And I think that transfers. And so maybe that's probably the reason why. So I hope that answers um, that person's question about how I treat my Midori. I really don't. Um, it's just it's really unintentional really. Um, updates. We had our family Thanksgiving that went well. It was a long day. I think at some point um, when I hit my four hour mark I was really feeling like I, I needed to be alone so I did kind of go downstairs and be in the bathroom for a while or something and just, I don't know, I just, I just needed a moment. So, but I did pretty well, I think. It's just sometimes the family gatherings without my being able to just say, okay, we gotta leave because we've got other obligations or something. You know, living here where that's taking place is a little hard. But it went well. It was nice to see family. We had relatives come in town. So the um, my husband's cousin and her husband, who we're going to be staying with for a couple months, were here. So we got to talk about Seattle and the whole move. They've done it before. At least Casey has. Uh, I think Paul's from... Uh, the Seattle area, but Casey lived in the Midwest as well, so she kind of knows what the whole situation involves, which is really nice, so we're not kind of going out there blindly and, you know, not knowing anybody completely, which is really cool. This week, uh, we're getting the pod, we're actually getting the pod delivered sometime today, um, so that's going to be that's going to be interesting because I've never had a pod delivered and is that enough? 
think this is not so strong of a tea, so I can get a bigger scoop in there. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be delivered out there in that driveway, and I hope they position it the way we want it to, because we do kind of need the you know driveway open. So once that comes, I will show you guys, and we're probably going to start loading things ooh, tomorrow night or something, because my husband's got his going away party for work tonight, so he won't be home. But it's going to be interesting. I've, and I'm really curious to see what our final count is uh, for this move. So I will keep you guys updated. Right now, as we speak, I am loading or uploading my. Moving vlog number four, journals update, I believe. I've got a road trip journal set up for you guys coming soon. I'm getting really excited to set that up. And I've got... Maybe I'll do like a Midori, Essentials Midori, like favorites uh, little insert somewhere in one of these vlogs because I've been meaning to do that. So things that I'm loving uh, with my journaling, things that I've been using a lot or reaching for a lot. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you what this pod looks like. It's freezing out here, but it's delivered now. Yeah! Holy cow, it's much bigger than I thought. We don't even have nearly as much to uh, fill. I mean, this thing is huge. Holy cow. Um, I think we have enough to fill maybe a little under half of that pod, so... I guess that's an, a good excuse to go shopping this Black Friday, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so excited. Um, boy, they were quick. They were supposed to notify us when this was uh, delivered, but we're going to start filling it maybe tonight. Uh, definitely tomorrow night. Probably won't take us that long. And, um, yeah, it's another phase in our in our moves, so can't wait to show you what everything looks like when it's packed inside. <laughs>